He'll talk Ma. about we're so glad you could make it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I got to. Anything you want to put on film at the start of this festivious occasion? I think she's happy to be here. I am happy to be here. Very happy to be here. We will put this on TV now after Mark. Well, is there anything you want to say to start? I am really happy to have everybody here. And it's a nice. The only thing is, it's too hot today. But How hot is it? I have no idea. Right. But it isn't quite as hot as in Phoenix, so, but they're still complaining. <laughs> they're, the the uh, workers were digging out the tree, the roof. Yeah. How about it, Daddy? Anything you want to say at the start of the film? <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. Yeah, now. You don't know kind of lost for Oh, yeah. It's funny. That's what we keep trying to think of what to put on that blue Well, happy 80th. Yeah, yeah it's happy 80th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I could just make another 80. Yeah. Go to the another 80. That shouldn't be real hard. You've done the first 80 real well. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard, Robert. Well, now talk to Sharon there. Let her see what she's okay. saying. Uh, the South Dakotans are complaining about the humidity today. <laughs> <laughs> they are. But, yes. It's not just Arizona. <laughs> okay. But we're, we're happy to be here. Hey, Happy good. birthday. Hi, Uncle Bob. Don't know. <laughs> this, this is your granddad's film. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Hi. Happy birthday. I'm glad to be here. I'll be here on the 160th one. Okay. Yeah, but you might be a little old and slow by then, huh? Look <laughs> <laughs> at the circles around me. <laughs> uh, I think we're in the bathroom. Janice? Yeah, happy birthday, Dad. I'm sure glad to be here. And I'll be here for the... 160th. Yeah. You're the here for the 150th. I'll be here for the 160th. I'll 80th. be here for anyone I'm invited for. Can you can you well, say hi? Might blow it there, girl. Can you you might not I'll be here you. next year. <laughs> what do you say to your great grandpa? Great grandpa, happy birthday. That's on. Yeah, great grandpa. The oven in the basement. You like from the bottom. Why? The oven. Just how do you do it? Great grandpa. He heard himself. He heard himself. Great grandpa, he hurt himself. Where? Where you hurt yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad. And it was on film too. We can watch that at the 160. Happy, happy uh, birthday, Grandpa. I'd like to be here for your 160th, but I promised Gary, Gary that I'd be there for his 80th. And so if that happens to fall around the same time, then I wouldn't be. No, I guess it wouldn't. He's not that old. <laughs> How old is this man that I married? Yeah, do you remember? <laughs> Here, hon. Still want the glass of water? Anything you want to say, hon? No. Now, aren't you happy to be here? Oh, yeah. You're with your sister. Well, it's real late. Yeah. And your niece. Very too. happy. Let's go get everybody else. <laughs> We're getting everybody. Now, this is your dad's film. Oh. You're supposed to be speaking to your dad. Hello, Dad. <laughs> I'm going to close the windows at my house so it does not rain for the party. Rain. All right. I'm going to do my rain. I hope I'm not going to be overpowering. Well, we're getting some pre film, Joyce. Anything you want to say to your dad? Happy birthday. Happy Father's Day. And I love you. Arnie and Howard. Robbie, Brandon, Gerald. Anything you want to say to your dad, Jerry? Happy birthday, Dad. Wait a minute. Did you talk to my agent before you filmed me? Yes. Okay. I was told that we had complete permission to permission. film you in any way we could catch you. What, uh, did he negotiate a good contract? I better talk to him about that. <laughs> well, it's actually Janice gave up the rights. <laughs> she is not my agent. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is a hair rush. So yeah, well, that's all right. <laughs> hey, boys. Hi. Watch. Uh-oh. I I'll get it.
Okay. Yes, you want to introduce huh? Double Shot? Yeah, this is no. John. Oh. <laughs> I'm high. This is our cook. <laughs> is this the cook? Yeah. Uh, Chef Boyardi. Chef Boyardi. Hi, John. How are you? Good. This is Bob Jernigan. That's his huh? son, Bob. Bob <laughs> yeah, Jr., huh? Actually, we're making a record of this day. Uh -oh. Put it on film, and you're part of it. No, do I have to? So, be? how's the preparation coming? Going good. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Got my sidekick back there. Oh, let's see. Let's get your sidekick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, how are you? Fine, how are you? A gorgeous sidekick. <laughs> Thanks. And you're cooking and preparing. Yeah. Right. And your name some is? hungry people here pretty soon. Diane. Diane? Mm -hmm. Hi, Diane. Hi. Oops. Well, thank you. To get. <laughs> There's one thing about Cindy that I love. It's you her like laugh. that laugh? Yes. <laughs> Come on, give us a good one on film. <laughs> not staged and not fake. Come okay, on. Then I'll have to <laughs> Let her work on it. Come on. Come on. Work it up. Tell Bob to tell you a funny joke. Yeah, tell me a joke. I'm a non humorous type person. You are? Yes. Did you laugh I'll tell you some jokes, but not Ooh. on film. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Those are the only well, kind of jokes he knows. We'll fade, but we'll fade from view on that one. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I, this is fading. I've before, but I would have never recognized huh? it. Mm -hmm. This is Sharon. It was so Hi, Dale. We're saying something to Grandpa on the film. Everybody's saying something. It's your turn. Happy birthday, to your Grandpa. Dale. Happy birthday, how Grandpa. <laughs> How's it going? All right. How are you? You remember me? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. What's your name? What's your name? Come on. Wait. Wait. Quick. 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 You're embarrassing. Hey, Dale. Who's this one? Brandon. Oh, okay. Brandon. Who is this? That's Cindy. <laughs> he knew that. He's liable to go home. <laughs> well, let, let's put Cindy and Kim next to each other and let's see now. Everybody's recognized Cindy so far. Nobody's recognized Kim. So many. No. I wonder. Let's see. I, I now the one on the left is. Uh, I, lost, I, lost, I lost my identity though when I became Garrison's mother. I'm now Garrison's mother. Yes. Yeah. You lose I'm your Garrison, identity. Garrison's mother, Nathaniel's mother, and Anne Alicia's mother. And Cindy's sister. Cindy's <laughs> <laughs> favorite sister. Make sure you go out and Rocks grow in South Dakota. They plant them. They do that need, and they were telling me all about this, and I thought they were little names because we put fix the rocks off our land to put on our fireplace. And I guess Sharon thought I was out of my ever loving mind to have rocks. They don't care for them. Sharon. How's the latest um, rock crops coming? <laughs> We've got a bumper crop this year. A bumper crop. Bumper <laughs> crop. I'm going to give her pictures of our fireplace so she can take it home so she can show Nick. He won't believe it. <laughs> and we're going to bring uh, a suitcase full of rocks when we go visit them in Arizona. Great. Yeah. <laughs> and Aunt Emma is too. She's yeah. got to have a rock, right. a suitcase full of rocks. That'll pay for you in exchange. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was telling her how we hauled rocks up into her house for a full month and two days. Mommy, where are they? And they were talking about picking rocks. Where are they? Where are they? I thought they were out front. Are they out front? They could be. On, over on this side. Who is it that's been talking about getting a camper? They could load the camper with her. Didn't, the... didn't she get a camper? Yeah. She well, she get a... Yeah. They could load that with rocks. Oh, and, and that motor home. Oh, that yeah. would be, yeah, okay. they would load okay. that with, yes. Mm -hmm. They could load that with rocks. That's right. Yeah. I bet he was. <laughs> that picture he asked him, Uh, speaking of guess, we got 31 miles to the gallon with that Pontiac. 31 miles? Yep. We're going to let Josette go out and Oh, you, I need to add yeah. um, that yeah. everyone yeah. should keep their shoes on yes. for the we're birthday party. Uh, uh, we're we're cutting. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. I want Kim to sit at. I want Kim to sit on Grandpa's chair because I have a special present for her. A special present for her. This looks like a familiar writing. Okay, okay. what does it say? Sunday, April 12, 1970, grade 3. To the fairy in heaven? <laughs> Don't ask me, I didn't write it. I'm going to need a translator for this. The 33rd grade is in the bunch. <laughs> we got a teacher. We got a teacher. <laughs>
page, so open it up and read it. Dear Barry, catch my writing with the trash. <laughs> I lost my, it's supposed to be tooth, it says I lost my took, <laughs> or took, in, in school. Ooh, S-C-O-O-L. I was trying to read it. Today. And I dropped it on the way home from school. So may I have, may I have some money anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly. Somebody must have put me up to this, because I would never. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody must have stuck yeah. it back in my dad. But I thought that was so sweet. <laughs> <That's> cute. <laughs> You'll have to keep that now yeah. for Harrison. Yeah, Dear Barry, F-A-R-Y. <laughs> yeah, look at how she spelled, too. Yeah. Well, Cheryl uh, one time was going out. She loved cold, <laughs> boiled potatoes. And so we always put the money in a glass of water. So one time she says, well, why do you put the money in the glass of water? And I says, well, that's for the tooth fairy to drink. So the next time she lost a tooth, here was a cold, boiled potato set beside it. If the tooth fairy was thirsty, it was hungry, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> to the fairy in heaven. <laughs> you would pick out your cousin. Well, I, How many people have these cameras? Heather, we're putting everybody on. You're speaking to your grandfather now and your grandmother. Is there anything you want to say? Well, thank you, Heather. What? Aren't you happy to be here? Yes, I'm thrilled. Then I'm thrilled to be here. Kelly, come here, girl. Come on, everybody's happy already spoke. It's your turn. Grandma. Anything you want to say to your granddad, grandma? I love you. Power. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Video. Hey, Rich. Glad to see you here. Anything you want to say to Grandpa or Grandma what? Yeah. On film? Be nice to be home. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I bought them dogs. <laughs> Say something to Grandpa and Grandma. Grandpa and Grandma, I love you so much. I'm so happy to be here. So happy everybody's here. We're in the bathroom. <laughs> Look around. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that? Oh, yes. I'm filming in the bathroom. We're in the bathroom together. There's the new baby and we're waking it up. Come on in and see it. Oh, oh, let's get my face. And Jackie, follow me this way. Okay. And Jack, we have to get us on film together. Okay, Bob, outside. Quick. What? What's happening? Yeah. We're at. And Gladys. Okay. Get yeah. yeah. Gladys coming through. Yeah. Okay, we got Aunt Gladys arriving. doing dear oh doesn't do any good can i get some sugar <laughs> yep <laughs> all right well, and david said if you don't come and see him he's not going to talk to you anymore all right <laughs> <laughs> how's it going just fine put this with the close-ups <laughs> don't you like them of course because <laughs> i never see them <laughs> don't ever get old hey you're not that much you look that much older than i am hi i'm glad i'm <laughs> Hi, Alice. How are you? Just fine. I haven't seen you forever. No, it's you look good. good. Thank you. Feel good. Want to show you my kid? Good. Hi, Andrew. Where's Cameron? Cameron, if you could meet me. Well, it's just that I made my room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is um, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Oh, she's Hi, Joy. How are you? Fine. I'm having three years. I'm glad it's good. I know. Hi. I want a hug. Oh, <laughs> Hi, you're so good. How are you? Thank you. 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 Th
Good falls? Can you manage it? <laughs> you better watch out. I watch our rest. Huh? How many times for you? Looks like blood. How many empty tapes do you have, Bob? Uh, two. You know, when he does this filming, when you get it back, all you can hear in the background is that little oggy doggy laugh. Because go on, do it, Bob. No. I don't do laugh on request. Yes, you do. Do it. <laughs> No. Go on, go on, go on. Look at that stomach. Look at that stomach. Hey, everybody, watch his stomach. Look at the film jumping up and down. Hey, come on, you're you're wrecking a serious filmmaker here. <clears throat> better. That's better. He wants to do it real bad too. Look. And we have a troublemaker yeah, in the family. Yeah, we have a troublemaker here. Hi. Simply hi. Uh, this is your father and mother's home. It is? Yes. Good. Good. Yeah. They can afford it. <laughs> and here's Helen. Ah! Ah! I love it. I said you why This is the latest in what? Did you iron this week? Yes, I ironed it. Did you? Of course. Yeah. Here's Dale again. Hi, Dale. Zachary, who are you? Are you a ninja turtle? Yeah. A teenage mutant ninja turtle? I'm Batman. Where's Batman? Batman. Who am I? Am I the Joker? Johnny, and uh, I don't think I moved. I need to take care of the Air Force. Thank you. Very nice, huh? Read it. Delicious. That looks like I'm short. They are. Go ahead and read it out loud, Dad. I got to spit first. Okay, go ahead and spit. <laughs> But I'm gonna move. <laughs> Don't film the spitting bath. Oh yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> that's the reason I have this high deck here, so I can spit over. <laughs> I better leave Helen read this. It says, Your birthday's a reminder of the many things you do to make the people in your life so happy that you're you. For you, for you share yourself with others, though you're caring and you're loved, and you're just the kind of person that this world needs. Right. Thank you. Thank you. 
Did you write that? What are you going to say? Oh, don't. I wish. When I get time. <laughs> when he's retired. <laughs> when I retire, I'll say. Yeah, my shave. You should shave. I was going to shave with a bunch. You were going to shave. <laughs> when everything went on. Hey, Mike. Okay. Well, you get around to it. Oh, I'll get around to it. Morgan, he gets up. Maybe your next birthday. Okay, come here. Maybe your next birthday. Morgan shaves every morning. Oh, it is? You take the bath. I thought Kelly was your mom. And you don't do nothing. And I wonder about that. Cleans up. Hey. And you say to me a lot of times, you say, yeah, that's how you say it. why don't you shave us? I haven't had time. You see somebody, don't you? I don't. Okay, you're going to make me sick and I'm going to throw up. Then it'll blow their mind out. <laughs> Can we film? Yes. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you like that. <laughs> Wait, can we just call me up? It's Kenner riding on the swing. Can I ride? Yeah. I got a new joke for you guys since okay. there's a lull here. I asked Judy what it marks were at school, and it reminded me of this. There was a um, little boy, and he goes into the kitchen, and he says to his mother, Hey, Mom, how old are you? And his mother says, I don't know where it's none of your business. A private question. It's one of those things I don't tell anybody. I'm in the living room with my sister. So he goes in the living room. He's sitting there for a couple minutes. All of a sudden, he jumps up, runs back in the kitchen, and says, Ma, how much do you weigh? And the mother says, John, we don't tell things like that in this house. We, it's just something I don't want you to know. I'm not going to tell you. He said, but Mom, we had a big discussion at the playground the other day, and everybody knew how much their mother weighed and how old their mother was, but I don't. He said, well, you're not ever going to know. Do you just go on in the living room and let me finish my dishes and go play with your sister? So he goes in the living room, and he's sitting there, and his mouth is out of here like kids can be. And, uh, like this? Yeah, like that. Okay. Like that. That's it. Show it again. Like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then uh, the sister says, what's wrong with you? And he says, well, I wanted to know how much mom weighs and how old she is, and she won't tell me. And I really want to know. And the sister looks at him and says, boy, are you dumb, John? Right over there is her purse. In the purse is her wallet. In her wallet is her license. Everything's on her driver's license. Go on, go look it up. So the kid does. He goes over to the purse, gets out the wallet, gets out the license, looks at it, reads it, goes in the kitchen and says to his mom, ha, 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 I know how old you are. His mother says, nothing. She just continues washing dishes. And the kid says, you're 43 years old. She doesn't say anything. She keeps on washing the dishes. So then, and he stands there and he says, and I know how, how old you are. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I know how much you weigh. And the mother didn't say anything. She just kept on washing the dishes. And the kid said, you weigh 127 pounds. She didn't say anything. Just kept on washing the dishes. And then he said, you know what else, Mom? I know why you got a divorce. And the mother looks at him and says, what are you talking about why you got a divorce? And John says, I know why you got a divorce. You got an F in sex. <laughs> 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 Did you get it? Uh, <laughs> that'd be hard. Did you get it, Brandon? <laughs> I didn't get it. Why? Nobody got to explain to me. Go ahead, Brandon. Explain to your Uncle Rich. <laughs> now, Cindy wants to this Do we have Danny around? Hey, Danny. Anything you want to say to your grandpa and grandma? This, I'm making a film for them. Oh, my gosh. Happy birthday. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. See, now we can prove this is legitimately Dennis's uh, uh, remarks. Bob, you have decided to. I did, ma'am. Thank you. Unless, unless there's other Bobs, let's see. Yes, let's see. Girl. Is there more than one Bob in the family? Yeah. Uh oh. He may have signed. <laughs> How you doing? You're killing me. Uh, happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> Is that it? I guess that, that was it. it. I, guess I mean, that was it. <laughs> oh. Did you say something? Heather does that. Huh? Anything you want to say? Anything you want to say, Rob? You can remember. I remember you 
Right. 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 I don't think she'll repeat it. Oh, come on. You're going to repeat it? She, we wanted to have me sit out on Gladys' lap, and I sat down a little bit, and I said, I don't want to give it, give it to her all. <laughs> Man, what's your recipe? I said, I don't even give it all to Nick. <laughs> Whoa. That's on film. <laughs> That's my weight when I sit on his lap. I understand yeah. perfectly. I just hope Nick does. <laughs> Because we brought Hi. Hi. Who are you young ladies doing? I told you. Oh, broke that up. <laughs> For the Limpies and OP. Yeah, OP. Everything. Well, I'm sorry, you don't enjoy seeing these later? No, not really. Oh, well, why don't you clean your ear? That's awful. <laughs> dirty. Yeah. You can. How are you feeling? Good. Great. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, Usually good. with my hands, sometimes with my toes. Only when I'm in my sexy mood, though. Funny guy. Hey, Dale. Hello. How are you? Due time. Due time. Oh, look at that. It's about full.
Okay. Make it go really fast now. Maybe I'll nice touch. There it is. Come and push this thing. She's a, she's a nut. Nice going, Danielle. Centers, but it ain't sitting well, on you. Have to pay. I just bought two two by two by Guys, got two by twelve ceilings. You, you, you got two by twelve joists in there? No. Oh, okay. got out there? Yeah, but I got two by okay, eight. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh. Where's the joint thing they did? Nothing. Not a whole lot. I put the motor on that. No, no, no. The carousel. But that no, motor. Yeah, but I haven't got the Hi, Uncle Rich. This is going. All right. Hi, Uncle Bob. Hey, what's going on? Roxanne, everybody so far has said something to No, come here. Everybody so far has said something to Grandpa and Grandma on the film. Two. Hi, Grandpa and Grandma. I love you. How old am I? Oh. How old am I? How old are you? You're probably ten. Let's see how high can you go? Then it's me. Say how low can you go? What are you gonna no, do? No, we'll do it now. I'm coming. What are you guys doing? No, no, no. 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 We have to give up. Hey, hon. There's Cindy with the smile. In the house. I want to hear that laugh on you. <laughs> Come here. Where are you going? Oh, there's Randy. Where are you? Hi, Josiah. Look good. Randy, everybody's saying, no, no, everybody's saying something to Grandpa and Grandma on film. Thanks for everything, Grandma and Grandpa. Couldn't have done it without you. That's it. That's it? Yep. That's kind of, uh, you know, come on. Okay. Hi. Good to see you, hon. It's nice to see you. I know you're there. I'm not turning around. Oh, look, horns. Oh, look, horns. Oh, you turned around, you fibbed. <laughs> Shut the motor off. It is. Where's the mustache? And you can jump on. <laughs> you know the cut. Yeah, but it don't like that. That might tear that worm We talked during the. No, I don't think. Oh, it worked for you. Right, yeah, right, right. right. But worm back. Hi, Jerry. Good to see you. Hi, brother-in-law. Uh, hey, hey, the old hillbilly shake. Hey, we um, everybody is speaking and saying something on film to Grandpa uh, and Grandma. Uh, this is his birthday or is this Father's Day? Both. Both. Happy birthday, happy Father's Day, <laughs> Father. And uh, I'm glad I could make it from Quebec. I said uh, it was a long trip, but uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing me. 
<laughs> made it worthwhile. Made it worth me. It'll make your day. <laughs> and let me finish signing my signature. All right. You can still cut in here. Cut the end. Oh, six for she doesn't. Well, she recognized it. I'm sure she recognized it. But Jerry took a vote. She's dancing. I've never met him. Oh, you've never met him. Fred Brown's daughter, and her and Sharon are the same age. She was at the Kiss Bar. What's her mother's name? Betty. Her and I are very good friends. Now, look at this cake. See, this was a 16 inch and 14 inch and 12 inch and save on that. All that cake went except the top. We saved that. Plus three sheet cakes and a half a sheet cake. Wow. We're being photographed here. <laughs> now, here is uh, Art Ram's wife. And here's Toy Ram's wife. Well, that's Betty. Yeah. Okay, here's Mary Agnes. Agnes's youngest daughter. Oh, she's changed, hasn't she? See, Sharon tried to pick out half a Nick's relation and half a... And who's that? Her. That's some Nick's relation. And then this... Let's go, Pam! Back up, Daddy. Daddy, come here. Judy, come here. 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 I'm his grandma, like like your grandma is my sister. Well, Becky, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Better get over here. Here's Nathaniel. Here's Garrison. Nathaniel, here's Garrison. You want to wipe your dog your shot? You want to drink? Okay. Will you give me some 7-Up pills? Yeah, sure. Let's go play. Come here, Nathaniel. Look at Queenie. I need to get some of the drink. He was real sweaty. Nathaniel, mommy will get some honey wings. Oh. I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel I got my hands on. I got my hands on. I Come here. 
I wouldn't either, Nathaniel. <laughs> you think they would like uh, Mountain Dew? Judy, watch him. I didn't see any seven up. Becky? That's a pretty good. He probably looks better. Would you want Mountain Dew instead of seven up? They don't have seven up. There's no seven up. You want Mountain Dew? Oh, you worried about him? Oh, they grow bad. They're bad. <laughs> yes or no? Most car kids yeah. are that age. Do they have stripes? Yeah. All they have is Mountain Dew and Pepsi. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you need to go down to Pepsi, right? Yeah. 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 You better not kiss me. You're all sweaty. I don't want you around me. Yeah. Are you right? She's sweaty. Can you remember me? Not too well. Not too well. You recognize me? Let me go get some basketball or um, volleyball action. Okay, Judy, would you like to commentate on what you see going on in front of you? Yeah. We have okay. a group of crazy people. Yes. I got it. Who in this humid, unbelievable it's weather right. are trying to totally dehydrate themselves. No. Over the piston game. Over you? Isaiah Thomas. Is this an offshoot of this? This is an offshoot. Uh, do you know any of these yeah. crazy people? All of them. And that's the part that is so scary. No, you know them all? Yes, and some of them are staying in my house, which is even scarier. <laughs> that's scary. Let's see if we see any any type of um, good plays back here. Yeah. Right. Oh, obviously we had someone fail on that one. Uh, six serving seven. Oh, let's see. One of the more coordinated of the group got into play. Eight serving Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Wait, wait. You, do you want an instant replay on that? I'm so sorry, I'm I'll be right over there, okay? Go find Becky for me. See if Becky's hey. playing nicely. Roxanne, do you want an instant replay on that? Yeah. How about a judge's decision? In the tree, take it over. Yeah, after they miss it, we'll take it over. <laughs> I'm out for a minute, guys. Okay, hey, we, we can do it without you. Without you. I doubt that. Yeah. Oh, nice going, guys. How are going? On their own. <laughs> yeah, I don't need you guys to mess up. <laughs> Ten serving six. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's Where is that? Yeah. That's out of bounds. That's out. I would say that was out of bounds. I think we should have a judge's decision on that. That's out of bounds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. That's only because your son hit it. <laughs> you guys, Paul. In the grass. How about this? That's cool. Yeah, in the, uh, no, the, no, no, right here. here. <laughs> no, hey, the, right here. What, the four by four. Now that we have the rules well, settled. Okay. You guys serve. Yeah. We'll give you a chance here. Six seconds. All right, she's back. <laughs> well, that was your ball. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Nice going, Josette. Serious. Daniel, you get a serve. Well, this is a high action game, but I don't think I can stand any more of it. Heather, did you serve yet? Yeah. Oh, that? Uh, yeah, we're winning, right? Yeah, we are. Hey, Zach, come here.
him down those stairs. He's been up and down the stairs 14 times. Without her. But without her. But yeah, when she comes on the scene, he need, immediately needs help. Sit down, Grandma. <laughs> Is this my agent? Is that, yes, <laughs> I, she gave up all right. Did you a contract with him so he could... It was verbal. No, not really. All really. right, cut it off, <laughs> cut it off. <laughs> he didn't come up we'll with sue. our price. We'll sue. My lawyer, we'll see. He didn't come up with our price. <laughs> didn't come up with price. Well, for the quality of this film, I can probably pay it out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you mean my fee? <laughs> <laughs> we weren't cheap. <laughs> yeah, but you can't pay the lawyer. <laughs> and I can't even pay my own. <laughs> A couple times a year. No, in August we give what we call the monsoon season. Thunderstorms. That's good. Thank you, Rebecca. So, do you want to get on there with him? Yeah, we do. Let me get on there with him. You want to get on with brother? With all the background I said, yes, that's all I do. That's all you do. Kelly, cut it off! And there's Miss Video. <laughs> We're videoing each other. We'll have, to, we'll have to merge these two together, huh? Whoa. Then we. That wouldn't make a baby video, would it? Far, far, far away. And here's Howard. He uh, hops over to the other side so he can do two. What? Focus, but that's all right. I, I, sli I stay slightly out of focus most of my life. <laughs> Who's that guy? Are you a turtle? Are you a turtle? Are these the twist tops? I don't think so. Just sucking egg. I can do that too. I tried to twist one off. That's your papa's favorite color. Do you know Jerry's favorite color? No, those are not twist tops. Blue. That's why he married me because he loves miracle face. Let's see him. 
Right here, baby. Let's see them. Right okay. Right Where are they at? Right Miracle's veins. That's why Jerry married me. Right Love right blue. Right here. 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 Some of them knife, I've seen a few burn. Right. I've seen one guy knife 50, I think it was 54, 57. <laughs> <laughs> um, as long as he does everything. Now, we, we had each other in the federal system. In Atlanta, they used to kill a lot of them. But I have never been where an inmate has killed a lot of them. I've been for stacks of killing them. You've been never another inmate.
a little mark. to your dad and mom on film. I've gotten everybody so far. Well, you're speaking to them. I'm their favorite. Oh, we're not going to tell the rest. She only wishes she was. Oh, I know I am. I know I am. Well, that's your, well, that's your contribution. No, you guys sing on Kate Brokeback. Come on, Danielle. I'm not singing. Sing on I already sang. I made my name already. Someone down here urging this child to jump. We have other people urging her not to. 
No, no. She lives at my house. And don't you like She'll me. break her leg yeah. and blame it on us. What? She will. They told me to get you. Get it up. She's old enough. No, she is. No. Nationwide, Ohio, hey, Johnny. Come here. I didn't get you on film yet. Nation Everybody's been talking, saying something to Granddad and Grandma. Anything you want to say? I love you both. <laughs> I hate these things, man. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, with a passion? Yeah, with a passion. You're the one that threatened Mark. Huh? You've been threatened? No, never mind. No. Tell me mixed up. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> well, let me let me fade here. Fade. Put them on the horsey. Oh, this is special. Oh. That was a beer. That's good. Johnny, go ahead and sing. Your turn to sing. Come on, Johnny. Hey, I just sing the corner. You guys join it. I don't know the song. Who's baby are you? Mine. Oh, he's got his own mind. I figured out today it should be January 15th. Just keep speaking. Anything you say will be kept between us. No, thank you. We will not share with anyone what is said here. Your secret is safe. That's ugly. Isn't it? That's yes. the only way I can turn you around. I know. <laughs> and it works. She got a little kid for you. Huh? She got a little kid for you. Yeah. No, I guess you can't see her. Come down to get me, Andy. Say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Today, what's this I hear you're in the building garages now? What? You're into construction. Huh? I was just going to ask you if you want to come down and build me a garage. I heard you're into construction. No, I'm into racing. <laughs> you're into racing? Want to tell me about your race car? Shut it off and I will. Oh, no. How can I keep that forever if you shut it off? You go get it. You go get it. This isn't hotter than Georgia, is it? Okay, go ahead. This isn't hotter than Georgia. No, it's hotter than you can. I don't know, is it? That's a salad. Go get Rick. He said he's ready to take it.
the money and see if you enjoy it. I'll take up too much. Yeah. And the thing is, that's here since we've got the example. I'm going to fall off the end of the table. Try to keep it down. I'm trying to get you caught up. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
orders of Captain Watt. <laughs> Find a seat, take your place, sit down, and be quiet. He works for an airline. So. Daddy. <laughs> Is it too late to switch tables?
Yeah. 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 Yeah
you just shut it off? You can't see me. I see you telling me to shut the machine off. So that's something. What else is it I can't see? No, I look. I read on that filter thing. I looked for a valve. I didn't see a pressure valve. Maybe somewhere.
Peter, if you take my word for it. Your left arm hurts. Jackie, tell John to get out there. Right there.
some left and some. There was a little bit. Then she played for me. Then she
for the garbage can. Uh -huh. yeah. It's not over here. Uh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she caught me going for more. Mom's going to do a reading. Okay, and you can finish your eating and I'll read, come up and get your food or whatever you need. Okay, this is Grandpa Jerome Watt at 80. I, Jerome Watt, am going to try and put down my life's history. I dedicate it to all who have helped me make a success of my life. I was born Jerome Thomas Watt in Fernie, South Dakota, June 19, 1910. I was the second child and son born to David and Ellen Callahan Watt. Dave and Michael preceded me in December 4, 1908. I was joined later with three more brothers and four sisters, Morgan Eugene, Born December 6th, Elizabeth, Mary, August 24th, Catherine Ann, April 4th, James Rayfield, Lucille Claire, Marion Patricia, and Justin Emanuel. My sister Lucille passed away at the young age of 13 in 1938. 
My oldest brother David passed away from cancer January 13, 1966. Also, a strange coincidence was my father-in-law, Henry Ram, passed away January 13th, but before David, in 1958. Another incident was one of my sister-in-law's, Elsie Watt, had a heart attack January 13th, 1985. We almost lost her. So January 13th is a bad day for us. At present, my other three brothers and three sisters are still with us, with me. I also lost two brother-in-laws on my side of the family. On Irene's side, I had four brother-in-laws. My brother David was one of them. I lost them all. Also, my one sister-in-law, Agnes Cypher. My sister-in-law, Emma Gaber, said she had 13 brother-in-laws, and I am the only one left. Huh? And the best. <laughs> <laughs> and the best. <laughs> My father was a carpenter, which later I became. My mother was a seamstress. When I was six years old, we moved to a farm. There we raised wheat, oats, barley, corn, livestock. My brother, sisters, and I all went to a one-room schoolhouse from first through the eighth grade. We were fortunate to have my Aunt Annie Callahan, who was my mother's sister, stay with us for two years and talk some of us. She was a good teacher. Daddy. Dave and I had a lot of fun with a horse named Billy. He could just barely bridle her. Then he would get on and take Billy to a wagon or some object where I could crawl on. Then we'd ride in the fields. Later on, when we got older, we drove a horse and buggy to school, and of course, this was our favorite Billy. My father had around 30 head of horses. When Morgan got a little bigger, he helped us in our escapades with our horses. Here are a couple of them. We hitched up Billy to the buggy, then went into the house to get our baby sister Betty to give her a ride. The horse would not go fast enough, so we stopped for a whip, which was a sunflower stock. We used this on the horse to make him go faster. But the neighbor caught us and called Ma. Another time, we wanted to give the baby a ride. This time, we tied a little wagon to the calf's tail that was on a picket in the yard. Then we pulled the stake, and the calf got away from us. The calf went through the fence, and the baby flipped out and hung upside down by the hem of her dress on the fence. <laughs> My mother went for the baby, and we boys went for the calf. We were afraid our dad would give us half. <laughs> My brothers and I helped our father work the farm. Even when we were small, we also would go with him to build farm buildings, mostly barns. It took about two weeks to build a 30 by 40 foot barn with a lean-to and paint it. For this, my father would receive $125. After I got older, I worked as a hired hand. I received $15 to $30 a month. I did farm work, planting and harvesting crops, milking cows, and taking care of livestock. I even broke horses for $5 a piece. But after I broke three for Ray Colson in one day, he said no more. It was too much money. I loved horses and could really ride. I had several nice riding horses, but the best was Bert. He was a beautiful bay, but later died of sleeping sickness. It tore me up. I could run and jump on Bert bareback and be off in a flash. I started farming on my own in 1933, but never got much of a crop. In 1934, we had such dust storms that in the daytime it would turn dark like night. You had to put on your lights in the house. These were kerosene lamps. But if you were out in a car, you would have to put your car lights on or even have to stop because you could not see. It was like a blizzard, but only it was dirt. The dirt covered all the fence lines and filled the ditches. It looked like black snow. We had grasshoppers, too, who ate the crops or anything in their way. We also did not have rain, so farming was a rough life. Are you listening? Sharon? Mm -hmm. I am. We did not have electricity nor gas for furnace heat. We had a pot 
hot-belly coal stove. This only kept the living room warm. The bedrooms were cold. The only way the upstairs was heated was by the stove pipe that went up through the room to the chimney. The kitchen was heated by the old range which my mother cooked on. We were more fortunate than some people to have running water in the house but no bathroom. We had to take our baths in a laundry tub. Now I have two and a half bath bathrooms in my house, so this is proper. I met Irene Ram in May of 1934. My brother David married her sister Gladys Ram in December 1934. I married Irene February 11, 1935 on my folks' 27th wedding anniversary. My oldest daughter Janice married William Honer on my 25th anniversary. This year in 1990 I was married 55 years. So I guess February 11th is a good day. But it seems every day it gets colder and worse weather. On my 50th wedding anniversary, we had a big party with a mass. To my big surprise and delight, our daughters, son, and their families gave me a beautiful diamond ring. They also gave Irene a 19 stole, stone diamond ring, which is gorgeous. When I got married in 1935, during the Depression, I could only afford an $8 ring for Irene, but she still wears it all the time and will not take it off. Even when she has surgery, she makes them tape it. I tried farming, also maintained a road to make a living. Then in October 1940, my wife Irene and three small daughters moved to Detroit, Michigan. Janice Teresa, born in 36, Janet Ann, January 16, 38, and Judith Mary, born January 7, 1940. We lost our precious little Judy four months after we moved here. She was extra special. It was hard at first to get a job. I took a course in welding but could not get a job. So then I worked at carpenter work and only made a dollar an hour. Then in 1941, just because I had a union card, Henry Cotton hired me. After working for him for six months, I got a raise of 25 cents. This made me feel a lot better. I worked for Henry Coffin and Wilson Westman for 35 years. I was hired as a carpenter, but it did a little of everything, from remodeling, electric, heating, plumbing, boiler work, cement work, painting, and anything that had to be done. They had 28 theaters, drive-ins, apartment houses, stores, bowling alleys, and I maintained their homes and close friends and relatives. When I quit in 1976, I was only making $5.75 an hour. I never made big money, but we always got by. During this time, I had four more beautiful daughters. Judith Mary, born June 4, 1942. Geraldine Irene, born October 10, 1944. Joyce Cecilia, born October 21, 1946. And Jacqueline Elizabeth, born April 21, 1951, and a son, Jerome David, born March 13, 1957. The night my son was born, my oldest daughter, Janice, and I were driving home when a policeman stopped us. I said, now what did I do wrong? He said, you were going too slow. I said, well, give me a ticket so I can go home. I've been in the hospital for three days. I just had a son after seven daughters. He said, you've got enough trouble, but just speed it up. <laughs> I love my family. I have always just worked for them. Finally, in 1956, I bought a lot in Garden City for 2500 where we live now. My oldest brother, David, helped me build my house just on Saturdays and Sundays. It took us one year of hard work. We did everything except lay the block in the basement, brick the house, the electric and plastic. But when it was done, it was nice and just what I wanted. We moved in August 2nd, 1957, the day we became grandparents for the first time. For the first time. Now we have 21 grandchildren and 15 great-grandchildren. I am very proud that 14 have my name and 6 have Irene's name. Now about my health. I know 80 is a ripe old age, but I still go outside every day and do some work. 
I take care of my lawn and flowers, also my house. My hobby is making things out of wood, which I do and give to my family and friends. It ranges from deer heads, leather, and napkin holders, merry-go-rounds, rocking horses, wagon cutout animals, and countless other things. This keeps me young, and I enjoy it. I had a few setbacks, a heart attack at the age of 38 in 1948, surgery on an artery in my neck in August 1984. It was almost 100% closed, which caused several slight strokes and affected my right hand. Today I can use it, but it is just not quite right. Then in March of 1989, I started hurting all over, and finally I could not walk or move. I had a bout in Henry Ford's hospital. They were not sure what was wrong with me, but I ended up taking cortisone or prednisone. While I was laid up, I found out I had several garden angels taking care of me. Thank you, Irene, Judith, Jerry, Geraldine, and Janet. Also, my daughters from out of state who were very concerned and called me. Thank you, Janice, Joyce, and Jacqueline. Also, son Jerome in state. A special thank you to a son-in-law, Jerry Kalika, whom I consider more a son. He came over and did all the lawn work, planted the flowers. He also was there to put up the louver blinds and countless other things. Last but not least, thanks to a special brother, Morgan, and wife, Elsie, who find time every day to call me. This has been going on for years. Morgan is not in too good health himself. He also had surgery a couple years ago. He had a pacemaker put in, but is still on the move. And a thank you to my sister, Catherine, who also calls. This is also a very important year for Morgan and Elsie, who will be married 50 years, August 24, 1990. So a big congratulations. I started celebrating my birthday in May when Morgan and Elsie took Irene and I to Las Vegas, all expenses paid. We really had a good time. I even managed to win. At one time, I had $500 in front of me in trays. I did not know how I could carry them to cash them in. I was watching Morgan's wheelchair, so I put them on it and wheeled it to the cashier. I got quite a few chuckles from people. So thank you one and all. family that has shared this with us, but I think it's really too warm down here. Yeah. Would, we, would everyone mind going out in the backyard? Maybe we could dad put dad in the lawn and we can kind of stand around him and take pictures. Take pictures that and stuff. Good. And I can take pictures yeah, I, I think it'd be too. better, Mom. I think and, it's too hot. And too. everybody that heard this, everybody before the door. Okay, we'll have pictures. We'll have to take care of them.
little of it again. That's it, Jay. Oh, Oh, hang on to me a minute. Hey, look what I got. I'm selling my purse. Think of me often. Carry them with you. Oh, big. All right. Thank you. Yes. They're all over that whole house. The movers, when they came down, my cement one, Wilma. Wilma, he broke, uh, didn't break his, his arm up when he went to lift it. So he didn't want to break it. He hurt his arm up. Huh? Thank you. Really? Right out of the way. Well, he went to a. Did you know? Filming the filmer. Whatever you do ain't gonna be right anyway. Get over here. You're supposed to. Well, I didn't know you had one. There's no picture of mother in there. Let's see it. Right. Robbie, go see if that battery's done that's on the TV. Becky, Look out for this thing by Uncle Bob. Hey, Mom. Hey, when Queen wants to be on film. Hi. We'd also like to give one to our hands. Dad, look up. Okay, Judy, what is this now you're doing? Okay, Daddy, why don't you show Bob your plate? We had plates done up for Daddy for his 80th birthday. We want to remember this day. It's a special day in our life. What's it say, Dad? Happy birthday, Daddy. All right. Happy. All of you hold your plate. All of you hold your plate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Will we give you our gift card? Are you going to give your gift first? No, 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 no. Okay. Well, Janet, you want to give your gift first? Look at here. Look at here. There's just one way to feel about a dad. Having a dad like this. How did they all feel? You didn't tell us. Lucky dad. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jim and I worked on the album too, and it just gets all everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, did you speak loud enough about to hear you? Did you hear me? Did you see the pencil box? Yeah. It was the dark. Janice. What? The love. This is a book that I've been working on for months in Arizona. It's something that I've written all the family about. We have letters, pictures, and something else. It's just a tribute to the It's a tribute to the Very nice. Very nice. Exactly. I bet I know what it is. Peanut. Peanut? No. Not peanut. Stone? No. Rock. Hammer. Oh, that's oh. my pig. Oh, oh, oh. Papa got a piggy. Oh. Oh. Make the chicken move, Dan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Joyce, there she'll go. Yeah, come on, Joyce. 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 Come on,
Just the nice ones too. I mean, maybe they're not all so great, but you know, <laughs> why exclude them? I have favorites. <laughs> I have favorites. <laughs> oh, okay. But don't ask her; she won't tell. Sit out here in the grass. No, no, you sit out here in the grass. Sit out, everyone. Sit in the grass. Becky, come out here and sit in the grass, with everyone. No, I didn't hear that. I got it. Happy you can't see the cat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Queenie. Go. Who was good? Good luck. 
Zachary! Get over there! Called your name, Grandma did. Come on. Come here, Grandma did. Come on. Come on, Come on. 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 Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah. 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 Ye
at your great grandpa. Aaron said, look at your great grandpa. Probably with good cause. Yeah, 
Anyone watching the children? Jerry, sit down. The grandkids are here. Go ahead, baby. Jerry, <laughs> It looks like we've lost control of the great grandchildren where all the grandchildren are setting. Is it 400 or what? Yeah. She can't fit. They're from there. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No. <laughs> you got a few minutes off and then you can get back on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they ain't bad. Yeah. I got a triple. Hello. Just a minute. Anna. Oh, no, I gotta sit here for a minute. Her Billy. Yeah, I've seen you over there, Dennis. You want to swing? You want to Whatever. We're gonna you, buddy? Too long, so you better cover yourself. Go with Nick. Maria! Hey, Maria. She's not here. Relax. Here, though. Oh, my God. Yep. Boy. <laughs> Haven't been in the family long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I get a kiss too. Get a kiss, Maria. I got you. You're gonna feel pretty bad. You're gonna feel pretty bad for the last one. No kiss. Thank you. I like that. Cindy, we're going. You wanna go on the swing? Dale. Wanna swing? Wanna swing? Hey, Red. Honey, no, you don't need to take that on the swing with you. Oh, no. Any other kids that we could have tonight? Oh, you want to go tonight? night? Want a swing? Want a swing? Want to go to the swing? Want a swing? That was a fun Yeah. Why don't you be? Danielle! Danielle. <laughs> Ma, you did good. Yeah. <laughs> good for nothing. Right. Good for nothing. Ha ha! Grandma's got your number. Danielle. <laughs> yeah. He's up there. John Horner? Well, he isn't here. We can put his yeah. name back. Yeah, you take him out. That's right. How did you know? Oh, she she figured it out herself. There you go, still hurting, Mom. Boy, is she tiny, Kim. John Horner? She's not big. She was seven, or seven and a half hours. Uh-uh. Right. You got it. Twice that. Twice that. Randy. It wasn't that little mother. I knew I was coming up sooner or later. Nine, four, 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 three inches long. She's over ten pounds already. So you're smaller than that one. Oh, it's hard to believe. Now you got to put it back together again. Oh, my God. Say what? Oh, God. Say what? 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 Say
Buddy. So Johnny was Mom, I have I have to be I'm kissing Dad. Wait, yeah. no, 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 oh, that's right. No. Mom. Be cold. What do you got there? Great. Howard. Oh, well, there. See, she was 74. She came right out, didn't she? Oh, my mom. Where did we put her? Yeah, yeah that's right. Where did we put her? Oh, I can see you. Cecil's behind you, Mom. Yeah, but Howard. That's right there. Howard is right there. Howard. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> you were calling the grandchild line. You'll be back out in a minute. I called the grandchild line. Okay. Yeah, you, you were calling that group. Here comes the sea captain. Grandma's out here still. Yeah. My name is he Howard. 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 Take the picture. Take your 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 picture. Heather. Yeah, 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 Heather. Did you just get she in, Howard? Her, she <laughs> hey, you gotta watch those things. <laughs> watch your head, Howard. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> Jay, just walk around at once. Keep going. I want to give you another beer. You're real bad. Sorry, you're missing. Emma. That's right. But roll it. It was just one. Not that time. Punch man. Somebody put your name in. 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 Come on, let's go. Yeah, Bobby ain't got his name yet. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Hobler. She tried for you. This one? Richard Hobler. Cindy Applebee. What? Yeah, what do you want?
Robbie? Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, that one. Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how was the last time this guy was checking out? Good, I'll just change. Great. All right. God, I thought it was going to be the last one. <laughs> Bob Smith Sr. Jeanette's husband. I'm glad you explained everything. Yeah, just in case somebody didn't know who you were here. Jeanette? Bob Smith Sr. Jeanette's husband. Who wrote those, Grandma? Oh, I don't know. Who do you think? There's many boxes. Anything you want. Robert Jernigan the second. Webbit him. The second? Jackie's husband. Yo, Jackie's husband. Now we know who it is. I was wondering. <laughs> if I had Jack, uh, I think I had Robert. Now, this is Jackie. What do you want, honey? Dig. If we I yell at Bob there. to behave, how many of that does it cover today? How many are there? Quite One, a bit of them. Oh, that four. No, yeah, there's right. only four. Yeah. Uh, get a black person. <laughs> 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 Stay with the camera. Stay with the camera, honey. Where are you Okay, yeah. Stand up. Maybe you can sneak back in line. I know the kid. And I'm bigger than All right. Yeah. 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 You expect me to believe that we'd be the first time we said no. Kimberly. Thank you, Daddy. Who? Kimberly. Thanks, Mom. Mom Kimberly. Kim's right there on the ground. Would you want it? It's okay, don't worry. Kimberly. Did you put your name in the box, Sharon? Becky, no higher. No higher. No higher. <laughs> Geraldine. So, so that when he breaks tears, he's up there on the porch. <laughs> okay, your turn, Geraldine. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Why not? Your turn. Number 32. And I got a rabbit. Jerry, oh, there it is. Where were you? Oh, I was hiding oh, under the breeze. Oh, you thought we went down. Oh, there's a breeze over there. Oh, well, oh, no, I know. <laughs> that's right. That's my name. Brandon. Would you go in the house and give me that other battery again? This one's shot now. On a TV set. Are you going to shake your outfit? Oh, what do you got, Jer? Uh, I had a little bunny rabbit. An, an orange rabbit? Yeah, that's a southern rabbit. A southern rabbit. That's a southern rabbit. It's orange. Let's see, what's your hat say? Let's see. Uh, not too close for focus. Well, fishing is not a matter of life and death. It's much more important than that. Uh, amen. Amen. Robert Smith Bob. Is that Jeanette's son? I don't know. There's Jeanette's son on that. Yes. Huh? All right, boys. I know. And who was left? A black hat. I just got one question. You got something against, against fishes? Yeah, Rob, you were my last one. Now did it wrong? Rob was the last one.